नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर स्मिता नरम फाउंडर ऑफ आयुशक्ति आयुर्वेद माय पर्पस ऑफ लाइफ इज टू इम्प्रूव योर क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ एंड टुडे आई विल बी शेयरिंग विथ यू विजडम्स ऑन आस्मा ब्रेथलेसनेस और वीजिंग एलर्जीज लेट मी शेयर विथ यू अ ट्रू स्टोरी ऑफ डेबी आई मैट डेबी इन यू एस एट डॉक्टर टॉम मिचल्स प्लेस she had asthma almost for 15 years and she was taking inhalers two or three times a day both preventive and symptomatic she recommended that i cut out wheat gluten sugar and dairy and recommended several herbal supplements and some dietary changes well since then i am proud to say that i have lost 31 pounds i continue to use my supplements and that now as of august i am off my daily asthma medication yes i am oh, so wow. excited about how this how long did you take those medication uh for about 15 years daily twi- one inhaler twice daily wow when i checked her pulse i found that she has a huge amount of ama and mucus toxins in the body and her lungs were looking like completely filled with this dried old mucusy toxins and that's why the passages were narrowed and she had breathing difficulties she just came actually to feel well she didn't even have any intention of stopping any vent, uh, inhaler nothing she just wanted to feel well so i said that you have allergies from milk and wheat we started a astha tox program and she 100% followed everything you will not believe me after 6 months when she came to see me again she almost didn't need any uh, preventive things because her doctor th- himself recommended that since your uh, airway function is far superior than before it was improved almost by 20% you don't need now any more this inhalers so according to ayurveda asthma or breathlessness wheezing allergic breathlessness are all described in the chapter of swas there are five different kinds of breathlessness conditions basically but in nutshell it is said that there are two main reasons for uh, swas number 1 with the wrong food and dietary habits and lifestyle and exposure to an, uh, allergic conditions around you you produce lots of mucus and ama or kapha mucus in your body and that gets deposited slowly and steadily into the lungs and over period of time sometimes it gets dried up because of excessive vata air in the body and that stays in the lungs instead of you know body expelling it out or releasing releasing it and that creates na- narrowing of airway passages and the breathing difficulty begins in the beginning just sometimes a year and then slowly and steadily you know it just stays there all the time it only in- increases and increases and then you have to do constantly something to keep the passages open so that's one reason and the second reason ayurveda says is related with the immune system so ojas the vital immunity of our uh, body sometimes can become very hyperactive and can create inflammatory conditions by attacking our own body as if it is a foreign body and sometimes this ojas is not very efficient in functioning so it's the immune system is weak and we are very susceptible like immediately we catch cold cough infections viral bacterial infections and that creates frequent um, mucus and breathlessness and all these situations so both related with the immune system and ayushakti has a very precise program for um, creating balance in this breathlessness condition known as astha tox so focus of astha tox is actually stopping to produce excessive mucus by improving digestive situations and improving your own immune system so the allergies are reduced and infections are reduced 
and the second focus is to calm down and modulate which means balance your immune system so wherever it is hyperactive calm it down naturally and wherever it is underactive bring it up so that there is no attack uh, on the uh, inner respiratory system basically in astatox the most fundamental diet is to stop milk and wheat completely from your diet consider these two things as poison and you take poisons only when you are enemy of yourself and then um, try and eat always more soupy liquidy food because whenever the gas is produced it also creates breathlessness so stop taking everything which is gassy like beans or if you take it make sure they are soaked very well they are spiced with asafoetida or ginger uh, cinnamon cumin coriander or even garlic a uh, little bit spicy things are good for people who have breathlessness because it reduces uh, vata and kapha so i always recommend people to spice up their food even if you eat in the restaurant you know use lots of black pepper from the table uh, to spice it up if you are used to having non vegetarian food you can occasionally have chicken or fish or eggs but try to stay away from red meat because that produces mucus again so besides that uh, pranayam anulom vilom and there are couple of breathing exercises which slowly and steadily strengthens our respiratory functions there are also uh, marma points uh, one is amsa falak marma which is actually just at the corner of your scapula in the shoulder blade where there is this upper zone in the corner on the tip just outside of that there is a marma point and you actually treat it with certain ginger and uh, ajwain powder you apply ajwain ginger powder and just massage it very deep with your thumb another marma is apasthambak marma and this apasthambak marma is just uh, in the diaphragm level uh, you can draw a straight line from your uh, nipples up to the diaphragm and just there there's two marmas are there both the sides you can again uh, vibrate it with the thumb and you can do this marma points almost 6 7 times a day in astatok there is also home remedies you can you can drink this warm herbal tea 2 3 4 times a day and it will always help you a lot so take half an inch ginger um uh, around half an inch piece of a cinnamon uh two or three black pepper corn um one or two garlic you can also add 10 fresh basil leaves and almost 10 to 15 mint leaves crush everything very well add around 2 cups of water boil it very well just cover it and put off the fire so let all the juices come in and then filter drink this warm tea you can put some honey if you want to sweeten it and keep drinking it sipping it throughout the day i would recommend at least similar combination two times a day and that helps a lot in digesting the mucus and opening up the rest of the respiratory channels it can also help sinuses sometimes and the throat infections everything ayushakti has a very powerful asthalok formula this asthalok formula contains kantakari vasaka guruchi karkat shungi yashti madhu tulsi and bharangi ginger trikatu all of this combine together in a formula which has actually published a research paper in in alternative medicine journal where it demonstrated that it, by taking asthalok formula for 6 months almost everybody improved their breathing function uh, by 20% so their expiration rate improved their inhalation improved and it it showed that the air was reaching up to deep level of lungs after 6 months in different different 
lung function test and the respiratory airway function test. So friends, I was sharing today with you about breathlessness, wheezing, asthma, coming out of 30 years of experience of Ayush Shakti. If you are a practitioner and you would like to help people using natural means, do write to me. We can actually train you and you can become our alliance partner so that you can ha help a lot of people around the world. If you have any questions, write to me about your health and we will be more than happy to get back to you.